Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Well, at least it's daytime. We ain't got to fight anything in the dark. In before everything comes out in the daytime. Was I supposed to have took the car? This seems like a long way. There is a car down there. Maybe there's somebody here? Nope. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Yeah, we got a nice view, that's for sure. All right, I want to see if we can take that car. That's it, got off a bit of American muscle. Kinda of reminds me of the car from Evil Dead. Ah, there's a manuscript. Vermont, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, He'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Okay. Okay, there's the mine. We've got a little gift shop here. Or museum. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. Uh, the seams were rich, but hard to get at. Volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Got a page over here. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright, Fall, Bright Falls sorry, came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. Ooh. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Son of a bitch. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to get to Mirror Peak. A 
Okay. It was close. Fizz. Maybe closer than ever before. That did not sound good. Ah, you opened a hatch that says caution on it. Always a good sign. Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. <laughs> Reload, quick. Flashback. Just what the doctor ordered. Uh. The heck? That's not normal. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. GTA motherfucker. Shit. Okay, that was pretty tense. Oh, hello. Hello, boys. Fucking have that. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Oh yeah, getting the hang of this now. They had no chance. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Didn't uh, Rebellion... No, not Rebellion. What are these called? Uh, people who made this game. They're making... Uh, they announced not long ago making something else, didn't they? After Control. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. oh, God, what am I doing? Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. Smooth. Ow. Run. But first, let's read. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. And continue running. Read. Uh, Grey Peak Gorge, originally founded in 1928. Grey Peak Gorge Mining Town was one of the permanent settlements that Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. Nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced Ooh, yeah, on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there. A grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. Uh, Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when Br Bright Falls... What's that moving behind me? Is that a windmill? I hope it is. Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Free sucker! No. Oh, it's a windmill. And run again. Ooh, 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 that was close. Okay, uh... Oh, get inside! Get that key! Let's go, go, go! Someone, oh, someone lives Anything here. outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. 
about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. What? Keep getting some random FPS drops. Really weird. Okay, I'll go this way. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Okay, in the mine shaft we go. What? Hello? Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. But where's he trying to kill me, man? Was he under the influence of, uh... The lady in black. behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. So this one's a bit smoother than the last one. Ah, it's quite too soon. close uh cauldron lake the eighth deepest lake in the world cauldron lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater the volcano itself could be considered to be active but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970 and even then the underground activity was comparable comparably mined mild despite some property damage there were no casualties cauldron lake is one of the most beautiful spots in bright falls area as well as central figure in many local folktales it's a popular recreation area for the area's residents oh, 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 oh. oh no right bridge <gasps> it's coffee must have coffee
Come on, Alan, we got this. On, get your breath back, Alan. Come on. Need to quit smoking, man. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Wait! Is that you? Yo, it's me! Yo! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Oh no. Sorry. Please, lady. The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. She's one hell of a fall. <laughs> <laughs> 